Hey guys, in this video we're going to be replacing this stock picture that we have here with uh, whatever the user uploads when they fill out the form. Now there's really two parts to this. The first is getting our server so it's able to serve the image, images or anyone could go and download it from our server. And the way we do that in Express, because that's what we're using uh, under the hood, because we're using GraphQL Yoga which uses Express under the hood, is uh, with the static command or express static here. So we're going to specify the folder that we want to uh, serve static images from. So in our case we have a folder called images. We're going to say express static images and then you can actually go to that URL and you can actually get the image which we'll see. So here I am back in uh, the server module and I am in start server right here and I'm going to import star as express from Express and the way we access um, Express is through server.express with GraphQL Yoga and we can pretty much add this wherever we want so I'm going to just add it right here and I'm going to say server.express.use and then he can, here you can specify the route that you want I'm going to say slash images and then you're going to say express.static and then the string right here is going to be the name of the folder where all your images are. So in my case, I called that images. Um, and that's pretty much all we need to do. I save that. The server should restart. And it's now um, you're able to go to that URL and you can actually download the images. And you can try that out if you want to. So I can actually copy this image here. So here's the name of the image. And I can go to slash images slash the name of it and it will download. So if I go to localhost 4000 slash images slash the name of my image. Um, so this part is what I specified right here. So I could rename that if I wanted it to be something else like static or pics or whatever. And then here's the actual name of the file. So now when I, go, when I just go to that URL, you'll notice at the bottom here, I get a download. Alright, so now that our server is actually available for us to download pictures from, we can now point it to that URL and it'll actually download that image. So the next thing to change is the actual picture URL that we're sending back. So when I run find listings right now, um, what we're sending back is a picture URL that looks like this, and that is not a valid URL. Now we could actually do this kind of formatting on the front end. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can do this on the back end and send back the picture URL because um, we may want to, uh, I don't know, use this find listings in multiple places and this will save us from having to format the picture URL every time we want to use it on the front end. So here we're going to be using the power of GraphQL. So if we go to our listing over here, we want to, uh, and I guess it's under find, our listing type over here we want to change how the picture URL resolves. So right now it just takes the string and it displays that. Right? So here's the string just being displayed. What we want to do is append some stuff before it to make it an actual URL. So I'm going to add this to the find resolver here. Um, you could do it to another area if you want to, but I'm going to say um, listing and now the name is going to match whatever I called my type here. So I called my type listing. So I'm going to say listing here. And now I'm going to specify the, the thing that I want to change, the, how it resolves, which is the picture URL. And now it can have a resolver just like this guy does here or any of our mutations. So it's going to have a parent and the parent is going to be um, all this data that you see here and it could have arguments in this case it doesn't so I'm going to do an underscore it has context and from the context the thing I care about is the URL so that's something we pass in and start server so this is the current URL of our server um, and I want to access it here and the reason for that is so I can prepend something so here I'm going to check whether the parent has a picture URL because it makes no sense to append or to the front of the picture URL a URL if it's not even there. So I'm going to say 
And here you could, if you want, just do a shorthand for the function. I'm going to say parent dot picture URL. So I'm going to do an and here. So if this thing is null, you just return null. Otherwise, um, this will happen. So this over here, if it's not null, we're going to say URL. And then we're going to put the uh, picture URL at the end. Now, I think I need a slash in between this. And now what this does is if I come over here and I query this now, and let's make sure our server has restarted. Um, you'll notice now the URL is prepended to the picture URL. Now, of course, these don't change because they don't have any picture URLs. That's totally fine. But now I can actually just use this and it'll actually go to the correct URL. Now I'm seeing a small error though. I want to put images in between there. So I'm going to say slash images. And now that should be the correct URL that you go to. And now the reason why I like doing this here as opposed to actually, for example, you could store this in the database is one it saves space because every single um, picture URL is going to have this prepended. There's really no need to store that in the database as well because I can just add that now. And also, it may change. Right now, we're having the images stored locally. Maybe in the future, I would want to change this to another service, for example, S3 or Cloudinary. In that case, all I have to do is I have to change how I'm building my URL right here. So I don't have to go in and basically uh, migrate my database tables. So let's go ahead and run this. So now the idea is I'm able to just copy this um, URL right here and I can paste it in my, your, my uh, Chrome and I should be able to get the image downloaded. That means you're pointed at the right place. So now I can use that on the front end over here. So now that we're actually sending back a good picture or a good picture URL, um, if we go to the final listing connector we rendering an image here. So instead of just the hard coded string, we're going to replace that with the listing picture URL. And we'll give that a save. And now we should see a Timo here, at least for one of them. Now, these guys I didn't actually upload images for, so maybe we conditionally render this. So I say l.picture URL. And so. Uh, there we go so that the little images don't just are not showing for everything and then here we go we see our image now showing up here so that is how you can get your own images that you upload to display that's it for this video guys and the next one what we'll do is we'll cover uh, how to actually see the user who created this